what else can we improve on? We have to have that mindset also na just to keep going forward and just to keep better enriching yourself. Kasi everything can fade, di ba? Like this, with this pandemic, ang dami na nagsaradong business. Yeah. But all the knowledge and skills that you've learned, no one can take that from you. Not even the pandemic can take that from you. So, hello everyone. Welcome to our new episode here in our channel. So, for this week, now we, this episode will be a part of our interview series in Wealth Archie's new segment. So, we invite new business owners, advisors, or other wealth coaches to help discuss and share their experiences related to personal finance. So, for today, we have a special guest. Now, we are joined by the proprietor and business owner of Catticorn Dreams, Miss Jerby Go. So, hello. Welcome to our channel. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Yes. Good morning. So, before we begin, no, maybe you can share with our audience maybe what Catticorn Dreams is or maybe a fun trivia about yourself just to get to know you better. All right. So, Catticorn Dreams was actually created in the year 2017. Mm -hmm. And it started as a hobby. My sisters, Lish and I, yeah. um, we grew up kasi parang sanay kami to do DIYs and formulations mm. and stuff because our mother is a registered pharmacist here in the Philippines. Mm. So we grew up talaga seeing our mom formulating things, um, mm. making her own skincare stuff and all that. So nasanay kami na ganun. And when I decided to leave the corporate world, mm -hmm. I and initially, I didn't really plan to have my own business as Catacorn Dreams. So, it started lang for me to have that time to enrich myself. So, I started taking okay. classes, mm -hmm. workshops, and parang different um, interests and hobbies that I wanted to um, sharpen or parang gusto ko lang siyang pagtuunan ng content. And then with that, I dabbled into soap making. And then at mm -hmm. that time, it was parang the start of shampoo bars here in the Philippines. So parang I wanted, actually Silish, my sister, was the one who gave me that idea mm. na, hey, how, how, why don't we come up with our own shampoo bar brand? Because the, the leading shampoo bar brand then, um, the international brand then, was really kind of over the top. Parang medyo mahal for the Filipinos. So, so yun yung parang goal namin. We wanted to create our own shampoo bar brand that mm -hmm. is more, I guess, economical, but without sacrificing the quality. So, parang okay siya, pero uh, mas affordable. So, parang pang Filipino market. And with that, with, with the help of our mom, um, we were able to successfully um, come out with our own shampoo bars. Yeah, si Catacorn Dreams, actually, when it started, when the company, the brand started, um, synonymous siya sa shampoo bar kasi doon siya nakilala talaga. Um, since then, we have diversified in other product lines, in home care, fragrance, Marami na siya ngayon. And now, meron na rin kaming pet care through Catacorn Pets. Wow, wow. Very detailed, no? Parang nasagot mo na yung first question ko, which is actually... <laughs> ano? Sige. Sige, no? So, let's start, no? So, what made you delve into business? What was the deciding factor? So, you mentioned that you you were inspired by your mom that because she's in the forty uh, pharmaceutical business. And right. pang that gave you an idea on what to do or what to, as in it tinkered in your creativity. So was that the deciding factor in delving into Correct. business or were there other details that made you, you know, proceed to business and then leave the corporate world as it is? Um, actually, um, na una yung I had to leave the corporate world mm -hmm. and then I just, I started after graduating from DLSU. I my major was advertising management. So talagang business na talaga siya. But yeah. as far as I remember, growing up, I've always had that entrepreneurial parang spirit, spirit that yeah. business minded ano talaga mm. ako. So I remember when I was very very young, maybe I was in second grade or third grade. I started selling stickers and stationeries to my friends. Then it started to parang yung knack right. for business. Mm -mm. And then when I grew older, I've always had my own source of income. Although I have my allowance from my parents, mm -mm. I've always had 
parang that itch of wanting to earn my own money. Um, when I was in college, I was also featured in the school newspaper for having my own accessories line. Mm -hmm. ko lang din mm -hmm. And then eventually, I dabbled into crochet. So I bought crochet cell phone case before when I was in college. Wow. And I had a side hustle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so when I was uh, in the corporate world, na, I was in PNG, but under finance department. Mm -hmm. uh, medyo malayo siya sa major ko. But it's okay. Kasi I feel that everything that I've, like all my corporate um, background, from PNG, yeah. na finance, na punta ko sa marketing, sa local pharmaceutical company, and then eventually I handled brand yeah. for Avon Cosmetics, for Asia Pacific. Mm -hmm. So with all of those experiences, it made me a well-rounded person to be able to handle my own business. So... Remember, I started with finance, then marketing. Yeah, marketing. Parang sobrang layo na spectrum. Yeah. Then but they're related then, di ba? In a way. Correct. Yeah. But usually, finance people won't work well sa marketing. And marketing people can't work well sa finance. Really? Di ba? Parang may wow. ganong ano siya. So, my luckily. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> luckily, nairaos ko naman yun. Um, mm. Actually, me being in finance in PNG is a bit mind-boggling for me, even until now. Kasi... My background really is in marketing and advertising. So I really don't know why they got me there. But luckily, they got me there because it gave me like um, a background on accounting, on yeah. doing um, Excel sheets and pivot mm -hmm. tables and all that. Yeah. Na alam yun noon. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yun, malaking, um, I'm very grateful for that role as well. And so it gave me all that background and it prepared me to be able to handle my own business as a one-man team. Kasi, and basically, the entire operations is, of Category Dreams is oversighted by me. And then, mm -hmm. of course, my sisters, two of them are helping me. Si Lish is giving me always the ideas because she's a millennial. Wow. So she's giving me all the ideas that I should research on and work on, maybe think about it. And mm -hmm. then my other, my other sister naman is helping me with the brand handling, brand building. Naman. So the operations, niya, like um, costing, supplier, um, Supply procurement, the even in business expansion, mm -hmm. ako yon. And mm -hmm. without my background in my corporate world, sa all three companies that I've mentioned earlier, I wouldn't be able to handle all those. Wow, pang nasagot mo nang lahat. <laughs> Sige. Let's go back to that, no? Yung corporate mo later. Mm -hmm. But okay. initially, di ba, you mentioned that you already have cash before delving into business. Correct. So, was that your safety net before? entering into a business or were there other backup plans that you had in mind of what if this business fails what is my next step or if in case this business along the way would not work should i prepare for my next business because a lot of people right now are thinking about going to business but they're also having this thought so what can you share no it, based on your experience Correct. Actually, when I resigned from my post in Avon, mm. um, I guess I was lucky because I started off at a good pay rate. Parang as a fresh mm -hmm. grad, because PNG, diba? So, okay yeah, na yung pay rate ko. It's above average. Um, and then, of course, I escalated from there. It gave me also the chance to, I guess, um, build my savings. Pero nung binibuild ko yung savings ko, hindi ko rin naman inisip na eventually I'll, I will have my own business. In fact, when I was in PNG, when I was in college, my dream was just to grow old with PNG. Wow. <laughs> Pero oh, hindi nangyari. Yeah. My dream was, um, when I was in college, ang goal ko to be in PNG. And mm -hmm. when I was in PNG, I was just, you know, dreaming to grow old there because a lot of people are growing old with the company because the company is really good. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the pay and the pension, everything is good. So, hindi ko talaga inisip. It's just that, nung nasa PNG ako, when I was in finance, I wanted, really wanted to be in marketing so bad. Mm. And after X number of years, I talked to my manager and I said, I wanted to be in marketing. And if I can't have that, I'd rather pursue opportunities outside the company. That kaya ako nag-resign. So, mm. um, if you know me personally, I'm a very, I'm a risk taker. Yeah. So, from that shift pa lang, medyo stress na yung parents ko. Kasi parang, why would you leave such a good company? It's, it's a yeah. big multinational company. 
and you'd rather choose a small local virtually unknown company because <laughs> mm. sabi ko I wanted to be in marketing and I know yeah. I can make it work. Ang layo, um, diba? some, from a very high paying job to suddenly a small local player in the industry na very unknown. Correct. So, mag- medyo mo pa ba yung uh, Correct. Medyo mo ba yung pay? Pero that's okay kasi yung next ko was with A1, another multinational. It's pa- parang it's a stepping stone for me to be in my ideal or goal role kasi. Mm. So parang gumanan na din naman siya. So it's fine. Yeah. Um, my point with that is, ako kasi, I'm a risk taker. And if I set my mind to something, I really want to make it happen. Um, mm. I kind of, I'm the kind of person na I don't really dwell on the hurdles or parang I know some people masyado nag analyze What if ganyan? What if? I don't dwell on those what ifs. Yeah. Kasi, I guess it's also your perception na if you're confident with yourself, if you know yeah. naman na, diba, you can, I'm sure you can. Um, so that's what happened with me na uh, leaving the corporate world na parang secured ka. Actually, nung nag-resign um, ako from my post in Avon, which is also a very, it's like my dream role kasi I was the brand manager for Avon Cosmetics for the entire Asia Pacific. And it was a really good role. A lot of people were like applying for that role, even within the company or outside the company, because it's, it's a very good um, exposure. It's a very good thing on your resume. Um, I left that role and I wanted to be a YouTuber then. Yeah. Very eccentric talaga. <laughs> Content creators, always... no? YouTube channel space. Iba, ta- <laughs> iba pa rin kasi no, kapag may YouTube channel ka. Tapos mayroon ka <laughs> ang audience. Time, correct, that was like three, four years ago. At that time, hindi mm. pa siya kasing ano ngayon, right? Mm. So I, at that time, I said I wanted to, be, to have my YouTube channel. Um, tapos... Stress, na stress ulit yung parents ko doon. Why would you do that? You have a, a, a secured post, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, You have a car, ganyan, basta compute everything. Tapos, um, I, but I wanted to approach it in a very, I guess, logical manner. Hindi lang yung yeah. trip ko lang, gusto ko lang maging YouTuber. Mm-hmm. So with yeah. that, I resigned from the corporate world and I studied social media marketing. Mm-hmm. So nag-aral mo na ako sa AIM. Um, and then, yun nga, that is when I took all these many, many courses, and then eventually I landed into nga, crafting all these, and then kaya, kaya Catacorn Dreams was born. So, with my savings from all those years in the corporate world, maybe I was just in the corporate world for 10 years, I think, from graduating. Ha. So, 10 years now on the work. Tapos yung mga naipon ko, yun na yung pinang enroll ko, um, pinang start ko ng business, uh, also did all my research alone. Of course, with the help of my mom, big help talaga siya kasi she was able to guide me with the formulation. Yun yung crucial doon. But I guess without um, the person's guts yeah. and also, I guess, grit, yung parang, di ba, you just want to take on kahit ang dami nagde-discourage sa akin. Like, mm-hmm. Everybody who's sane enough to, to tell me logically na medyo, you know, crazy yung idea yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> already told me that maybe you should think about it. But I knew... I could make it work. And that's why I um, just dived into the pool and just, you know, let the wave carry me on. And here we are. Yeah. No. So a lot has been said already, no? So for our viewers, let's, of course, recap, no? Some key points that Jerby mentioned. So the number one key takeaway is have a very clear goal in mind on what you want to do in the future. And then second, of course, take risks. Guys, important yan. Di ka pwede mag-succeed na sa business if you don't take risks. But make Correct. sure that it's calculated risks. Hindi pwede Correct. yun. Nag-risk ka lang ng risk, pero wala namang nangyayari sa buhay mo. So may hirap yan. Correct. Of course, no. we'll get it back into that later, yung taking risks. But of course, um, always have that belief in yourself. That's point three. That you can mm-hmm. do it. So... So far, so good, the ba, guys? So, sige, let's move on to the next question, which is actually related sa nangyari, no? Yung sa AAM, where you studied mm-hmm. social media marketing. So, did you learn specific skills along the way when you started your business? Or along the way, you just learned them because of your mistakes? Or yung sinasabi natin, experience is the best teacher? But I guess, no, social media marketing course in AM helped you. But for others out there, maybe hindi yun feasible. So maybe what what can you share regarding that? 
Okay. Yeah. Um, to be honest, syempre, pag-graduate mo from school and then nag-work ka sa company, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you wanted to change maging um, entrepreneur, like, you know, setting yeah. up your own company, registering all those business papers from the government, yeah. blah, blah, blah. My BIR pa, and everything, correct. DTI. So I did all that. <laughs> um, it's kind of a huge leap mm-hmm. and it can be intimidating. Mm-hmm. Diba? In yeah. fact, um, yung setting up your own company pa lang, napaka-intimidating na siya. I know a lot of people, my colleagues back in the corporate world, actually, nung nag-resign ako, siguro a few years, maybe months to years after that, lahat ng mga batchmates ko in PNG na gusto mag-resign were asking me for tips kasi how did you make it work? Wow. <laughs> um, I was, um, parang, I feel that there's no, not really a parang cookie cutter pattern Mm-mm. to prepare anyone for that. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Parang, you just, everybody's a work in progress. You just learn as you go along. And with that in mind, na alam ko na, okay, pag graduate ko sa school, nag-work na ako, sobrang iba yon kapag you set up your own business. So I had that thinking na, I had to learn everything before, I mean, I need to prepare myself even before deciding na I really resign and then, you know, do all those things and set up my own business. Um, so with to your question, I always think ahead. Maybe I always think two steps forward. Mm-mm. Kasi parang, yeah. yun na nga, um, before I set up my own business or before ako mag-resign talaga, yun talaga magsasabit na ako ng letter and to resign, <laughs> Inisip ko na, what are the classes that I should take? Um, what are the skill sets that I would want to further enhance? Para maybe someday, ito yung gusto kong gawin. And even now, I'm still taking up a lot of courses. Mm-hmm. Um, I just finished being a certified aromatherapist last year. Right now, I'm taking up jewelry wow. making. So, <laughs> I am I am a work in progress. Kasi nga, whatever I put my mind into, I just want to accomplish it. That's it. And eventually, all these skill sets will help you. Sabi nila, di ba, the most successful people aren't, aren't really the experts, but the jack of yeah. all trades. So mm-hmm. you have to be well-rounded. And that's in life in general. Um, in PNG, yun yung na-learn ko. Kasi in PNG, every three, three years, we are rotated to different departments. So parang yun yung parang... Um, I feel that also, most of the way that I... Sorry. Medyo mandatory rotation or was Correct. it just like a... Oh, so it's really a company policy that you have to be rotated Correct. in the department. Correct. Kaya maraming people na tumatanda doon kasi they never get bored. Every three years, you get rotated to a new post and you learn yeah. something new. Um, the, parang the rule is if you do well, kasi may rating, if you do well and you're on top of the batch, for example, if maganda yung rating mo, you get uh, to be moved faster. Mm-hmm. So para mas well-rounded ka. So ako, nag-stay lang ako ng four years kasi on my third year, nilipat ako sa another role. Sabi ko, I want this role to be marketing and I can't wait two more years for that. Yeah. Yun. Dun, dun kami hindi nag-agree, nag-agree kaya ako nag-resign. Mm. So I don't really dwell on things. I just, I mean, if I set my mind into something, I have also a set of timeline that I should accomplish that something. Parang dapat talaga meron kang clear goals and dapat may clear timeline. Because it's hard if you just yeah. say, oh, I want to I want to put my own business. Kailan mm-hmm. pa, di ba? After 20 years, after... Sometimes you just have to... Parang strike while the iron is hot, while your passion is there. Like ako, mm-hmm. when... Be, even before essential oils were booming here, I already took my course. And now I'm taking my jewelry making things. So mm. even before things started really happening, like even with our shampoo bar, ngayon, and dami ng local brand, the way shampoo yeah. bar. But we were the first local brand here in Philippines to be able to do retail. We are present in Gordos, in a lot. We have a lot of um, retail partners and even international stockists. Mm-mm. So yeah. Yeah. So marami na sa beden But the important key takeaway is being able to have that vision for your business in the future because that would drive you in learning these certain skills that you need for your business. So it's not like a one-trick hat pony where you just went into business and then ayun na. It's something that you have to work on every day. So that's why Correct. learning is important 
as well. Because if you don't learn, if you don't learn the ropes, you'll have a difficult time in managing your business, getting new people in your business and helping you out, as well as okay. building that network eventually in growing your business and expanding. So that's a very... Correct. And nobody was born to know everything. So yeah. everybody is always a constant work in progress. All right. Okay. So naghay yung pusa mo sa likod. <laughs> so, uh, sila yung um ano ko, sila yung inspiration ko for Cathy Corn Beans. Because wow. I also rescue cats. Yes. So animal rescuer then ka pala. <laughs> okay. So that's good. No? So no, in relation to what you just said earlier, no, in having that vision, in learning new skills along the way, was that part of your business plan? Or did you just create it? Because before we had an episode in our in our channel that discussed how to set up your own franchise or yung Chinese tips for the Chinese New Year. I, I sorry, business tips for the Chinese New Year. And then a lot of people were asking, kailangan ba gumawa ng business plan? Kailangan ko bang you write it down? Or can I just make a business without having a business plan? So what's your take in it? Should I create one or should I just go in? And then strike while the iron is hot, like what you said. I am more of that type. To be honest, in all my businesses, I have I have had probably three or four businesses so far, um, and different oh industries. Um, none of those sinulatan ko ng business plan. Because <laughs> wow. wow. okay. I'm more of the I'm very anyway. When I think about it, I just want to make it happen. And maybe it's not. Um, it's something that's not fit for everyone, mm -hmm. Because I I know some people. I've met some people na, yun nga, They they need to write it down and maybe yeah. think through it really well and see it on paper talaga mm -hmm. before they take action. Pero hindi kasi ako ganon. Um, I always like think of ideas and when I think about it, tumatakbo na siya sa utak ko. And while it's running yun na, nakikita mo, nag-research na ako about it. One week after, nakita mo, nandiyan na lahat ng kailangan ko. Tapos ginagawa ko na siya. So, ganun ako. That is how I operate. Medyo mabilis, medyo fast track. And so, I know that it's also a challenge for me to work with a lot of people. Because not everyone can, I guess, follow my pace. I know even my sisters. Even si Lish and si my other sister. Sometimes, hindi nila maano yung... Medyo, ano kasi, eccentric. <laughs> Medyo oh. mabilis na yung isip. And sanay ako to work um, on everything on my own. Which can also be a bad thing because I can also stretch myself too thin. Which can also be a good thing. Kasi right now, quarantine, I don't really have to think about employees and paying them because I just work on my own. Mm. I can make everything happen and operate on my own. So, I, I feel also that it's also dependent on the, I guess type of business that you want. Yeah, like, for, like you said, franchise, I would think na kailangan mo talaga ng business plan because you're shelling out a lot of capitalization up front. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, exactly. kailangan mo talaga ng isipin and hihingiin yun ng franchise. Franchise. Kadya, franchisee, right? Yeah. So, kailangan mo yun. But ako naman, I built everything from ground up, like even the brand, even the registration. Ako naman yung gumawa. Nobody's gonna ask me for a business plan anyway. So, I can just make it happen as I go along, right? Mm -hmm. um, yun. But every, uh, um, every maybe last quarter of the year, OMD, October, November, December, I meet with my sisters because we don't live in the same house anymore. Um, and I meet with them and we gather ideas. So, we do ideation every end of the year, last quarter of the year, para kung ano yung gusto namin i-launch for the following year. That is what we yeah. do lang. And then yun, they give me ideas and I research about it. If it's feasible for me to make it happen, okay, gagawin namin. Yun, ganun lang. Simple lang. Medyo simple kasi tatlo lang naman talaga kami. And also with the manufacturing, kami-kami lang din naman yun talaga. <laughs> so it's easy. Pero I would assume if you are operating on a bigger like organization, of course, you'd probably yeah. need an, an org plan or a business plan. Every year yan, you update. Diba? Yeah, I agree. No, very important yung depende sa type of business. Because for example, here at 12th RT, before I joined, Sina Surfits and Sorensi actually made a business plan before delving into the financial services industry. Because they've been around for more than almost 20, 16 years already. 
but they were doing it individually and then when they decided to build wealth archy they actually had to write down what they need to do your structure their plan their vision everything but in your case you didn't do that so i guess you no know, i agree that it has to be a case to case basis and of course yung importante dito is yung personality ng tao kung ano ba talaga sila are they really a risk taker like you or like us or are they more on the conservative side where they have to think things through they have to write it down they have to see it really in front of them because if they don't see it they might not take action diba and then baka Correct. matatakot din sila in delving into into a venture that is really unknown to them or really unfamiliar so guys very important that you know of course yourself at yung point kanina ni Jerbino to make things smart yung it has to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and then time bounded. So, in case you want to delve into entrepreneurship, you have to think all these things through because it's really not an easy thing to do, diba? It has to be something that you really have to put effort into. Otherwise, wala talaga, you won't go anywhere. You'll just be stuck in the place where you are now. So, Thank you for that. Now, very insightful so far. And second to the last question, you were mentioning earlier that when, diba, when things come into your mind, you're already researching it. Was that part of your market research before developing your products now, Cutty Corn Dreams? Or um, how did you do it? How did you conduct your market research before, of course, no, initiating the business? Or did you since I guess, along the way? <laughs> mm -hmm. So since I guess I was trained as a marketer, because I graduated with a, the degree of advertising management. So advertising management in La Salle is actually a sub course, parang kota course on the marketing department. So I was trained to do all the market research first before ever even launching something. So um, part of my market research, I guess, protocol is to ask my millennial sister to give me ideas. <laughs> Millennials <laughs> naman tayo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an older, ano, ni, ni na yata. Mas ano na yata siya. Um, so she would know what's, what are the better product offering versus, versus me, right? Um, which I think is also a good thing kasi malayo yung age gap namin. We have a 10-year age gap. So we are actually, tar we can target two generations. Diba? The things that I can produce, kasi yun yun naisip ko, iba yung market, pag siya iba. Which is, all, which is a good, I guess, scope for the brand, for our company. Yeah. Um, and, and with that, um, I get ideas from my two sisters. After that, we, um, syempre, sometimes, when, pag nagbabatuhan kayo idea, pag ideation process, sometimes, just to you know whatever you think of, diba? Para, the sky is the limit. Anyway, it's just an idea. So, what if we come out with this? What if we... So, so ako, ang trabaho ko also is to to ground everyone. Na parang, guys, ito lang yung feasible. Guys, ito lang yung kaya natin gawin sa Pilipinas. Guys, wala tayong makina para dyan. So, that is what I do. Um, I let them... I give them the freedom to provide their input. Because I know meron mga tao na gusto nila sila lang, sarado lang, ka ako yeah. lang ang magde-decide. I'm not like that. I, I value their input. Because, I like I said, I know there's no one naman born to know everything. So if I'm gonna be that, that type of person that I just wanna make everything ako lang, hindi ako na lang, hindi ko na sana sila in-invite. So that's yeah. why I'm inviting my sisters to give me all those ideas. And with that, um, I process each idea in a logical manner. Like, I have, you know, I do my research online. I ask around people. When we came out with our shampoo bar, at that time, wala talagang ibang brand of shampoo bar. It was only the big um, international company. Um, I had to produce maybe 100 pieces first, first batch, and then give it away to friends, family, to make them test it. Yeah. Diba? Ang sample size sa marketing on 30 lang. Pero, syempre, mas malaki na tayo. We yeah. produce 100. Tapos, we just let them try. And right, even now, if every time you come out with a, a new variant or a new product, we let people try first. We do surveying. Um, we target. One time, we targeted um, the vegan, Manila vegan group. Kasi nga, we came out with this vegan deodorant stick. Mm -hmm. So, ako rin nag-handle nun. All those market... Um, I also feel na... 
at this point, like in our generation, mabilis na mag-market research because there's internet. Hindi ka gaya doon na nag-aaral ako. Talagang pahirapan mag-survey. Now, you can just send Ignore pa, di ba? Na survey. Correct. Na hundred Correct. Correct. So Ngayon, na, ano na lang, Google Sheets, Google Survey, Correct. Survey Monkey. Link lang. I Link mean, I just sent out the... I sent out the products, kahit provincial pa yon. pinadala ko lang yung deodorant, and then I sent them the link, and then I asked for their feedback. It's that easy. So yeah. I, I feel that right now, even people who... For me, market research is very important. Kasi even if you have a very brilliant idea, sometimes iba yung execution. Diba? Execution is something you cannot control. Kasi what if my limitations sa local supplier mo? What if... Um, even the weather is also a, a factor for us. Um, sometimes, kahit ang ganda ng naisip mo, pero pag na-execute mo, it's, it's different from what you want. Then you have to make it work. And you have um, to have talaga input from your targeted customer, your target customer. Kasi, pag nilabas mo yan sa shelf, cost na yan eh. Diba? Yeah. You're renting also the space yeah, sa retail. And then when people started buying it and it doesn't work, then it's all... All together, it's a loss. Sayang yung pinano nyo, sayang yung to spend mo for the raw materials, sayang everything. So market research for me is very, very important. It's something that you have to really um, perfect. Maybe mm -hmm. put, cover your basis first with your market research before you even yeah. plan to execute something in the market. Yeah. Um, a very important key takeaway for doing market research is understanding the needs of your market and target group. Because if you don't you know, serve them properly or you didn't meet the expectations of your target market based on the product you're trying to put out, pangola din, di ba? Correct. So it will, put a it will put the business in a very precarious situation which you don't want to be. That's why it's very important to get feedback from potential customers or maybe potential uh, stakeholders or maybe potential partners because if you get their feedback you would understand oh maybe this is a part of the product that we need to tweak or maybe this is a service that maybe we can offer to them and then maybe do a pro product segmentation and such that a different service or product or different market so that's really the power of market research is the power of understanding or at least a little bit of knowledge on what the market needs right now. So do you... Correct. And uh, even up to now, uh, yeah. I'm not just potential customers, we value also feedback from our loyal patrons. Mm, so, yeah. lang yung potential. Even yung parating buhibili sa amin, we get in touch with them talaga. Um, if we have a new product, sometimes yung mga super loyal patrons, yung mga... Kasi we take records also. So, yung mga talagang we know who buys from us, who buys a lot from category names, we give them free samples sila yung nung unang mag-try ng bagong product namin. Mm. Kasi we really value their presence in our business. So parang may ano na sila, loyalty to the brand, and then okay. may perks na sila because of that, di ba? Correct. So import, I guess, importante din yan when you build your business on how to, do you say this, improve the service retain. of your loyalty, yeah, retain yung customer loyalty. Because if you don't do that, baka makuha siya sa competitors, etc. Lalo na, Marami ng soap brands, even here in CDO, may local ano, soap din kami, natural soap, which oh. only costs like 60, 100 pesos. So, yun. No, very insightful so far. So, guys, I hope you are learning along the way. So, before we end the interview, any last words for our audience who are still planning their own business? Or what words of encouragement would you like to impart to our audience? who are still trying to find that inner spark, who are still trying to find that first step in creating their business or starting it? Okay. Like what I always tell my colleagues in PNG, if you have an idea, work around on it. Talagang, if you think that this is something na gusto mo talaga, if it's your passion, if gusto mo talaga, you will always make it work. Um, you will always find the time there's no reason, there's no excuse. Um, unless na parang trip mo lang siya. Pero if it's something that you really want, if you really want to put your own business, then act now. Act now while you're in the corporate world. Prepare yourself. On weekends, you can start taking classes, di ba? 
or in your free time, you can Google. I mean, now is the right time. I mean, it's a high time for us to put things on our fingers kasi lahat nasa search mo na lang. Hindi na ganun kahirap yeah. to learn anything. There are online classes, there are online workshops for you to enrich yourself. Hindi ka gaya noon. I had to Google pa yung mga Groupon kasi gusto ko makatipid and I want to enroll classes through Groupon. Now, marami ng online and available even if you are in CDO, even if you are in the province, it's not really a factor anymore. So, if you want to have that, that like your own business, start working now. Huwag mo nang isipin na Ah, I'll do that after I resign. Because yeah. it's better if you prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Pag naisip mo siya, strike while the iron is hot. That's what I always tell my sisters. Kasi pag wala na yung passion, pag hindi mo na siya heal, wala na yung drive, di ba? You, sometimes it's just the drive that's keep, that keeps you going. And as long as you have that passion, as long as you know how to prepare yourself, you prepare for that goal, you can always make it work. And um, all the challenges, I mean, of course, I'll tell you naman na not everything that we've launched on our category and dreams is a hit. Di yeah. But you don't really dwell on those challenges. You just think, na, okay, let's just move forward. Let's just think of other things that we can offer. Or what else can we improve on? We have to have that mindset also na just to keep going forward and just to keep better enriching yourself. Because everything can fade, diba? Like this with this pandemic, and dami na nagsaradong business. Yeah. But all the knowledge and skills that you've learned, no one can take that from you. Not even the pandemic can take that from you, diba? Mm-hmm. And with that, as long as you have prepared yourself, you can always, I guess, Dive into another industry, another type of business. Because you learn mo na yung skill. You're not really scared of anything anymore. So yun lang. Um, it's best to focus on yourself and prepare yourself for whatever goal that you think of. And for sure, I know you will make it happen. Yun. So very insightful, inspirational message from Jerby Go. No, the importance of growth mindset is really a key component in building your business because if you gonna have that fixed mindset where, oh, hindi ko yung kaya or, oh, it's just too much next to take. Next time na lang. Next time na lang. Or, or maybe, ano pa ba? Maybe this is not for me or kaya naman yan ng iba will not help you in starting that, you know, that business that you always wanted to have. So try okay. to be open-minded as much as possible and Try to go out of your comfort zone. Try new things. Maybe try a skill or a hobby as a start. Because like what Jerby said earlier, it all started with this simple hobby back in college. So guys, I hope you learned something new today. No? If you want to learn more about growth mindset, you can check out Ready to Be Rich, Sir Fitz's channel. He in fact have, a, have his own video regarding that fixed mindset versus growth mindset. So you can check out this video there. So just to summarize everything that has said, because a lot has been said about how to start your own business just for our viewers to take it all in. So the key points here is always have a vision because that's important. Knowing where you want to go in the future or where you want to be in the future. So num- then number two is always have that safety net because you'll never know what will happen. And of course, in line with that is always take risks and keep on learning. Because if you don't learn, if you don't grow, your business will not also grow. Number four, have a plan, but always be ready for ed- anything. Because of course, your plan will not be a smooth, you know, smooth sailing journey. It can always change. And then number five, always understand the needs of your market because they, you have to serve them first, not yourself. And then lastly, the most important is follow your passion and start as soon as you can. Because if you don't, you might have that naskogon mindset na ah, bahala na, maybe tomorrow or maybe next year. Kalamba yung next year na yan, di ba? Correct. Hindi na mangyayari yun. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> so, yun. So, I guess that's it, no? Because it's already a very long interview. So, if you want to learn more about Capricorn, sorry, Capricorn Dreams, pasensya if I butchered your <laughs> uh, business name. You can visit their FB page. Link will be in the video description below. 
And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to receive updates for our latest videos. So, may YouTube channel ka ba? Or wala? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, if I you do. Have, so, if you want to catch Jerby more, you can subscribe as well to her YouTube channel. And then, of course, link will be in the video description below. So I I'm guess, all over the place. So just search for Couch Wasabi. That's me. <laughs> ayun. Sige. So I guess that's it. So see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys. Ingat. Bye. Thank you.